Hello and welcome to the School Business Services mini webinars. Today, we will be looking at importing and exporting CTFs using SIMS. CTF stands for Common Transfer Files. Whilst we are looking at SIMS, do be aware that they also work in other MIS systems. To import a CTF into SIMS, we need to go into Routines, Data In, CTF, Import CTF. We have several CTF import types that we can select, but today we will be looking at the top three. Starting with Add Data for New Students Only, this CTF will only create new records. These can be pre-admission records or they can be unrolled students. This will not update existing records. Add Data for existing students will only look at updating students already on the system. If it cannot match a student, it will not import a CTF and you will receive an error. General does both. This means that if it cannot match a student on a CTF with a student on a system, it will try to create a new record instead. Because of this, it is recommended to use one of the options below instead. We do have additional types available to us. Add ULNs for existing pupils only to import ULN information for secondary schools and add key stage data for pupils as well. These will differ depending on if you're primary or secondary school. Before I import the CTF, I would like to show you a record of a student I already have created, Ronald Jones. He only has his basic details and registration details populated. I'm going into Routines, Data In, CTF, Import CTF, and I will be selecting Add Data for Existing Pupils Only because I want to use the CTF to update the rest of the record of Ronald Jones. I am asked about the matching skill. This only happens if I have the CTF matching skill patch applied. If you do not have this patch applied and you are an SBS customer, please get in contact with us if you want this patch. If you are not one of our customers, please get in contact with your local support units. Normally I would say no to the prompt as I'm happy with skill too, but if I click yes, I have the option to alter the matching skill, which goes up to four. The higher the number you select, the wider the range. Skill two is a nice middle ground, as it is strict in its search, but it allows for variations of similar names, an example Ben and Benjamin. This is the regular CTF import screen. In panel one, I can untick any of the boxes I do not wish to import that data from. I can hover over the boxes, to see what is included. Do bear in mind that CTS will not overwrite existing data and will only import where there is no data on the student record. Consider unticking student contacts due to previous issues we have had in SIMS with student contacts and CTFs. In panel two, I can click on the browse button to browse to where I have saved the CTF on my workstation. The file name needs to match this convention. Seven digits, followed by CTF, followed by seven digits, and then three digits. It cannot have anything in brackets at the end, otherwise SIMS will not recognize the file. If I do not have the CTF matching skill patch applied, the button below will simply say Import CTF. As I do have the matching skill patch applied, I need to click on Proceed for Match Import. The green color indicates that it has found one positive match with a student on the system. If I click on Indicator, I have the option to see what other color combinations are available and what they represent. If I'm happy with my results, I click on Import CTF at the bottom and this will go through the process of importing the CTF and I can follow the process on the bottom left hand corner. I will get a prompt reminding me to run the address tidy and merge. This occurs regardless of when I last ran this routine. This report comes up to confirm what has happened on the system. On this screen, I do not have to click on the save button as this will only save the exception log. The CTF import has already been completed. Because of this, I can safely close this screen. As Ronald Jones's record is still open, I will have to reopen his record to see the changes that have been made after I imported the CTF.
as you can see, it has imported his address. It has not imported his family home details as I untick this. And it has also imported his ethnic and cultural details, as well as school history details. There are five criteria CTFs will look at when trying to match pupils in the system. Forename, surname, gender, date of birth, and UPN. To export a CTF, we will be going into Routines, Data Out, CTF, Export CTF. Once again, we have a number of options available to us. ULM requests for ULN information updates, key stage three, and then we have the two CME options as well, which are for children missing in education. For our purpose, we are selecting general. As is the case with importing CTFs, at the top, I have the option to tick or untick any of the tick boxes that I do not wish to export. But do be aware that the school requesting the CTF might require you for, for you to have the tick boxes ticked. In section two, I have the option to alter which students appear below. I can change from the current students to any of the following options. In example, leave is this year if the student has already, already left the school. Just make sure to click on the refresh students box to update the list. In section three, we can select our students. I only select the destination school. I do not have to populate the column destination LA other. I can select multiple students by holding down the control key on the bottom left of my keyboard. And you can see a blue line going around the students I have selected. I then need to click inside the cell for destination school for the last student I have selected. And then I get a drop down list of schools I have available on my system. Once I'm happy with my selection, I click on export CTF. Once again, the prompt about the address study and merge comes up regardless of whether or not you have run this routine recently. I will be clicking on yes. And this will go through the process of creating a CTF for, in this case, one school. Do bear in mind that I can select multiple schools at once and Sims will create one single CTF file for each individual school with all the pupils you've selected for that particular school. If I do not have the school available in my drop-down list, that means I have to manually add the school via tools and other schools. In here, I click on new, and the only information that is required are the school name and the DFE number, which is broken up in LA and establishment number. If I do not know the school's DFE number, I can search get information about schools in Google and the top result will take us to the government's website where I can look this up. Once I have saved the new school, I will be required to close the export CTF screen and repeat the process to refresh the drop-down list. If a CTF has been created, but you do not know where this has been saved to, go into Tools, Setups, and CTF, and then look at the CTF export directory to find the CTF export location. Thank you for watching. We hope that this mini webinar has helped. If you have any questions or are interested in hearing more about school business services, please follow the links below the video.